the Global Star system happens to be one that's a voice and data service, wireless voice and data service, that happens to be provided by satellites that are at 850 miles above our heads. This first launch for us, of course, is behind eight Soyuz launches that have been previously successful. And for us, it's bringing high quality voice and data services to our subscriber base, which is more than 400,000 subscribers worldwide. And it gives us that opportunity to bring those voice services back to our customers as well as grow, grow the service for our new customers and our new businesses that we hope to embark upon, especially in South America and in Asia, where we've expanded our businesses recently. We've designed the satellites to have more power, to have them be more flexible with redundancies, but from a subscriber perspective and from a product perspective, the satellites are fully compatible with all of our first generation operations. And if you have a handset, if you previously have been using our service, you won't even know the difference. You'll turn it on, the satellites will operate in the same manner, provide you high quality voice and data service all around the world with no roaming charges. You'll be able to operate the system as if they were the original satellites. But from a company perspective, we have an asset now which will operate longer, will have more redundancy in the payload itself, and have batteries that can be charged for more than 15 years. Specifically, we, we chose Talus Alania space for our, for our provider of the satellites and their subsystems because, first of all, they used to be called Alcatel. They were Alcatel space. And when they were Alcatel space, they were a partner of the Loral Space Group or the Loral Alliance here in, in Silicon Valley. And as such, we were partners. So we used the same individuals, physically the same people who were, uh, had more hair, and they were lighter in weight at the time <laughs> to provide our satellites in the first generation. So we've checked, we've checked with them. We're having the same managers help us. And they're using many new technologies, but of the original designs. So it was a very comfortable relationship to build another 48 satellites with Talos Alania. Now, with regard to the launch vehicle, which is the Soyuz rocket, the same rocket that launches man into space to the International Space Station, we chose them because we've had eight successful launches and the dispenser technology and all the rocket uh, dynamics that you know have the vibration shock to put the satellites in space, we have a proven, you know, we call, I call it a proven ride. We give those satellites a nice soft ride into space and as such we know that when we built our new satellites that they would get an appropriate ride and be dispensed positively into the orbits that we need. The launches themselves are identical. We'll be launching out of Baikonur at the uh, Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. We will have about a 3,000 second flight that takes, them, uh, takes the satellites, in this case six satellites instead of four. We previously launched four satellites at a time on a Soyuz rocket. This launch and the next three launches will be four, four launches of six satellites per rocket to about 300 miles. And then the frigate upper stage takes the satellites to the final insertion altitude, which is closer to six, 700 miles. Then we finally put it into an orbit, which will be our final service altitude, which is 1,414 kilometers, to be in the right orbital plane to provide services ubiquitously around, around the Earth. Having been at Global Star for the first launch, uh, the first feeling was it's almost a miracle. My God, we've actually put brand new satellite assets, assets exciting new electronics in space uh, to provide service. The next launches were a little slower and they weren't as enthusiastic, at least from my personal perspective. But this first one now with new satellites, with new capabilities, uh, you know, higher power, more, uh, more life in all the components, because this system of course is going to last 15 years instead of seven and a half years, uh, it's pretty exciting.